Hi, and welcome to my video on how to clean an Eheim canister filter. In this video, we're going to be cleaning the Eheim 2215, but the same procedures will also apply to the Eheim 2217. They're the same filter, except the 2217 is a little bit larger. So I just wanted to show you real quick. This filter has been hooked up for about 10 months, and as you can see, there's quite a lot of debris and waste accumulated. So it's definitely due for a cleaning. So I'm just going to get the filter shut down and taken off the tank and we'll be moving on to step one of the cleaning process. Alright, so I have everything gathered up here. There's nothing too glamorous about my bathroom. I don't have a utility sink in this house, so this is where I end up cleaning my filters. So a couple things you're going to need are about half a pail of aquarium water. We're also going to need a clean rag. And I also have a couple of these little brushes that I got from PetSmart. And we're going to use those to clean the tubing from the Eheim. When I do a big cleanup on these filters, I like to try and get all the gunk out of the tubing. That way when you hook everything back up, you're going to get good flow in your aquarium. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. Alright, so cleaning the hoses is pretty straightforward. I just like to take everything apart real quick here. I'm just going to start with uh, the one hose here and get my water going. And just a quick little uh, shot up the tube. And I just move over here, let the water run through from my bathtub. Sometimes you need to uh, get in there again, I didn't get quite as far as I needed. And there you have it, that's done. And then all my other little parts, I just kind of uh, do the same procedure. real quick like that. Just loosens everything up. Alright, with all the other pieces, you're just going to want to run them under hot water. Take your clean cloth, wipe them down, get all the algae and all the gunk off of everything. Then you're ready to reassemble. You just make sure you put it back the way that it came apart and you're all ready to put it back on your aquarium and you're just going to want to repeat this with all the external hoses and all the uh, parts that you took off of the filter alright so I moved the Eheim over to the bathtub it's still full of water so now I'm just going to take these hoses off give them a good cleaning as well and at the same time all the water is going to start draining out of the Eheim and then we'll be able to open her up Alright, so I have the Eheim opened up. This is your motor and your impeller. So we're just going to take this little plastic piece off here. I'm going to rinse that off really well under hot water. And I'm just going to take my uh, cloth and just give this a good wipe down. Get all the gunk off of it. So now that I have the top all wiped down, we're going to go ahead and remove this little cover here. As you can see, that's pretty dirty as well and we're going to remove the impeller and we're just going to give these parts a quick little rinse and just do our best to uh, wipe out all the 
dunk inside here and we'll be ready to put it all back together. And here it is all cleaned up. And we're just going to slip this piece back on and that just twists in and locks underneath these little plastic tabs here. So now let's take a look at the inside of the filter. All right, well, let's see what we have. I'll just take this piece out for now. And uh, this filter pad is pretty nasty. Um, I don't even think I'm going to bother uh, rinsing it out. I think I'm just going to replace it. So we're going to toss that in the garbage. And as you can see, the media is pretty dirty. So uh, we're going to get some water uh, ready here and we're going to transfer the media into uh, a pail of water and just give it a quick rinse and uh, we'll continue on down to the next filter pad and the rest of the media. Alright, so I took my pail of water and I dumped half of the water into this pail and we're just going to start and take the media out of the Eheim and just toss it in the pail, give it a quick rinse Alright, so as you can see, we have all of the first layer of media taken out and put in our bucket over here. So now we're going to take out this filter pad. And uh, this one here I'm going to reuse. So I'm just going to rinse it off in my second pail of water. Alright, so I have the blue pad nice and clean. And now we're just going to continue on and transfer the rest of the media over into this pail and give that a quick rinse. So I just wanted to point out when I was talking about rinsing the media, all I'm really referring to is just swishing the media around in the pail, just with your hand like that. And all you're really doing is loosening up all of the debris and waste that's attached to the media. And you want to make sure that you're using tank water only. Uh, if you use water from your tap, uh, you're definitely going to lose a lot of your beneficial bacteria. And you don't want that to happen. So we're just going to do that with uh, both of these real quickly, just like that. All you're doing is loosening up all of the big particles. And now we're just going to dump the water out and we'll be ready to transfer the media back into the filter. So as you can see, I've emptied all the water and the media is all ready to get put back into the filter. But first of all, I'm just going to give uh, the bucket here a little rinse out and uh, get that all cleaned up and then we can start putting things back together. So I just wanted to point this out real quick before I start putting everything back together. When I first purchased this filter, I set it up and I ended up having a small water leak right on the bottom of this fitting here. So I took the whole filter apart and this fitting is actually threaded and it wasn't screwed in all the way. So that's what was causing the leak. So just something to be mindful of when you take your filter apart or when you go to set it back up, you just want to make sure that this is screwed in all the way and that it's nice and snug. That way you're not going to get any water leaking out of the bottom. All right, so it's time to put everything back together. I already have the bottom piece back in. Next, you're gonna to wanna to add your rings, then your blue sponge, then your bio balls, then your white filter pad and carbon. So I'm all done my cleaning. Eheim's been put back together, but I wanted to briefly go over how you get your Eheim started is it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, especially if you haven't had very much experience with them. So the first thing I wanted to point out, when you assemble all your tubing, you want to make sure that you leave this little black end cap off. And the first thing you're going to do, you're going to want to open both of these sets of valves. And then here on your spray bar tube, you're going to want to separate this fitting right here at the back. You're going to have to suck on the tube. 
And that's going to draw water from the intake tube, and that's going to fill up your canister. Once your canister's full, then you can plug it in. And what's going to happen is the water is going to force all the extra air that's inside your canister right out the spray bar and right out the end of the spray bar here. So once all the air is out and your canister is running quiet, then you just add your little black end cap. So now that everything's up and running, it's a good idea to go back and double check all of your connections just to make sure that you don't have any leaks. That's going to wrap it up for the video. That's how I clean my canister filters. Hopefully I was able to give you some helpful tips and advice. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.